in this module we shall further look into the kaful business and we would go into some more detail this is my way of teaching and this is my learning philosophy that when i am teaching i should be presenting the things in the simplest possible way at least to start with once the concept becomes known understood the basic concept then bring some complexities so that the students should understand that this is actually a pen and around this thing if there are certain other things they are related with this pen so it is actually a pen it doesn't become something else so the models presented so far and they were wakala mudarba hybrid wak they were huge simplification aise maine choti choti diagrams bana ke aapko samjhane ke liye wo concept clear karne ke liye share ki otherwise in practice a lot of complications are there and hopefully those of you who would like to learn more about islamic banking and finance you would go into those technicalities but for the time being the concept in simple form it is enough for you to understand and know life the kaful for example uh if we take uh, the uh the simplification into account is different from general takaful however we have not made any explicit reference to life takaful or general takaful we just said takaful now in case of general takaful there may not be the possibility of setting up an investment fund life takaful because it's a long time it's a long term arrangement it may span over 20 years it may span over even more than 20 years or less so in that case whatever contributions come into the takaful business they are divided into investment fund and the risk fund kar takaful mein ho sakta hai ek saal ke liye ek participant aaye to usme investment fund nahi banaya jata so these details i have not gone into just because i wanted to clarify the concept of takaful only however this is the time for us to start looking into some complication now this is the model which i have taken from a book called fundamentals of takaful written by muhammad fazli yusuf let's see okay this is basically the central to this thing is waqf this waqf can be set up by anyone it could be set up by some money coming from the shareholders of the kaful operator or the money can be used from the participants as well or any other independent body to set up if work it doesn't require a lot of money anyway the initial setup so this work is there then we have this company which is basically the kaful operator and we have participant so on the upper end we have the things related with the kaful operator and the lower end we have things related with the participants the money which comes into this takaful business of course that comes into the waqf this charitable organization from there as a kind of first step the kaful operator receives its management fee remember we said that waqf is managed by the takaful operator on the basis of wakala now depending on the size of the takaful operation or size of this takaful company 
the wakala fee may range from 25 to 30%. Actually, if it's a very small operation, this can go up to 40%. Because the takaful operator has to cost the puri karni. So this is one thing. The fee goes there. Then a major chunk of money coming into the waqf that actually goes into an investment fund. That investment fund is uh, managed by the takaful operator on a mudarba basis. So uske jo return aayenge mudarba share of the participants would come into this work fund and share of the takaful operator would go there. Ab ye jo work fund hai isme se takaful related sari cheeze expenses, claims, etc. they would be taken care of. So operational cost of takaful, re takaful, claims and everything. And if anything is left that goes into the surplus fund and that surplus fund is a share of surplus of the participant this is 100 percent owned by or this would give 100 percent benefit to the participant ab ye jo income aari hai pehle dekhe takaful operator ko ye wakala fees ki aagai then share of profit in the investment fund of course if from this money, the company would be meeting management expenses and at the end, if there is uh, some excess money, that would be considered as the profit of the takaful operator. So, this in a nutshell is uh, the work-based takaful model and its operation.